Help protect your waters. Prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. Invasive species are non-native plants, animals, insects, and diseases that cause harm to the environment, economy, or human health. Aquatic invasive species can hitch rides on boats and other watercraft and be transported from one body of water to another. These species often hide in places such as your boat's hull, prop, live well, or trailer. Unfortunately, aquatic invasive species can destroy or degrade habitat, reduce populations of native fish and wildlife, or negatively impact recreational activities and income. Zebra mussels are a familiar sight to many people in the Northeast. These freshwater mussels are an aquatic invasive species that were originally brought to the Great Lakes in the 1980s via boat ballast water from Eastern Europe. They outcompete our native mussels, alter food webs, clog pipes, and are even painful to step on. Juvenile zebra mussels are so small they can be transported to new bodies of water via bait buckets and live wells without ever being seen. Adults often attach and grow on boats, then hitch a ride when boats are trailered to new water bodies. These tiny fingernail-sized mussels have quite a big impact. Another invader, hydrilla, also known as water thyme, is an aquatic plant from Asia that can grow up to an inch a day. It produces dense mats of vegetation that displace native plants, reduce water quality, make water bodies unnavigable, and negatively impact recreation and tourism. It grows so well that just a small, single plant fragment carried by a boat, boat trailer, or even fishing gear can start a new population. Nobody wants to swim or boat in a lake like this. But. As a boater, there's a lot you can do to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. Before you launch and after you leave, it's important that you clean, drain, and dry your watercraft and gear. In fact, it's a regulation in New York State. Be sure to clean your boat and equipment by removing any visible plants, animals, mud, or debris. Discard items far away from water and on dry land in trash cans, or in one of the invasive species disposal stations that have been installed at many boat launch sites. Drain all water holding compartments, including live wells, bait wells, ballast tanks, and bilge areas. Don't forget to check fishing gear, floats, and the outboard motor for any residual water prior to leaving the launch. Dry boats, trailers, and all equipment before use in another water body. To help you learn how to clean, drain, and dry your watercraft and equipment, boat stewards are placed at popular launches across the state. Always remember to treat your local boat steward with respect. They're at the launch to lend a hand. Stewards will walk you through a quick aquatic invasive species inspection and, if needed, guide you to the nearest boat washing station. Boat washing stations are located throughout New York State and use hot, high-pressured water to decontaminate your equipment of aquatic invasive species that may be hard to see or difficult to remove. Free boat wash, anyone? For more information on aquatic invasive species, please visit www.dec.ny.gov and search aquatic invasive species. Can we count on you to clean, drain, and dry your watercraft?